Hi guys, it's Mrs. Rawls here. I miss seeing you all every day. I have a short tale to tell you. I guess that's what we'll call it. Um, this week you're going to be reading a story in your reading books about a guy named Johnny Appleseed. You may have heard of him before, but I have a tall tale to tell you today about a man named Paul Bunyan. Maybe you've heard of him, maybe you haven't. But in this tale, you kind of hear crazy ways of how some of America's land and water were formed. And it's up to you to decide if you think the story is true or not. Well, here is the picture of Paul Bunyan. I think you guys can see that pretty good. All right. And this is, of course, Paul Bunyan. And then this is his ox named Babe. So I'm going to read the story and then we'll talk about it. Have you ever heard of Paul Bunyan? He's one of America's most well-known folk heroes. People say he was a pioneer in the lumber country in the 1800s. Legend says that he was one of the most powerful lumberjacks who ever lived. He was 20 feet tall and his steps were as long as he was tall. Now, a lumberjack. You may not know what a lumberjack is, but a lumberjack is a person who um, cuts down trees so that they can be sold and repurposed. So that's what he was. So Paul Bunyan had a special ox named Babe. Babe was as strong as nine horses and weighed 10,000 pounds. Babe had horns that were so long that the men in the lumber camps would tie, tie a clothesline to the tips of the horns and hang their wash out to dry. Here, from this tip to this tip, they would hang their clothes to dry. Hmm. Sometimes Babe's hoofs made mm -hmm. deep prints in the earth. Some of the lakes in Wisconsin and Minnesota are in Babe's old hoof prints. Hmm. Lakes weren't the only things made by Paul's ox. Some folks claim that the Mississippi River was formed when his ox slipped and knocked over a water tank. Seems like a tall tale to me. Talk about strong. Did you know that Paul Bunyan and Babe once dragged a whole house up a hill? Then Paul went back down the hill, hauled up the cellar, and put the whole house back together again. Lickety split. Now, do you know what a cellar is? A cellar is just another name for a basement. Don't have very many here in Florida. Um, it says, have you ever heard of blue snow? Well, one winter it snowed blue snow for seven days. And in those days, Babe the Ox was white as white could be. But after a whole winter of lying in that blue snow, Babe was as blue as blue can be. Hmm. Winters were mighty cold in lumber country, but Paul and the loggers didn't have to worry about hot food. One winter, a load of beans fell into a hot spring. The cook threw in some salt, pepper, and pork, and the camp had good hot soup all winter long. Yep, those were the good old days. So as you can see, a lot of tall tales came out of this story about a man named Paul Bunyan, who was a lumberjack, and his ox named Babe, who I'm not so sure was actually blue. But the story that you're going to read later this week is called Johnny Appleseed. And that actually was a real man who went across our country and planted apple seeds. So happy reading. I hope to see you guys soon.